What's up, survivors? How's everybody doing today? Thanks for joining me. I'm Beard Zerker, and welcome back to Subsistence. Uh, today is gonna be a good day. I'm gonna be making my way over all the way to the southeast lake. Uh, should be somewhere in this area here. I'm pretty sure it's just east of the stream here. So I'm gonna be making, I'm gonna be trekking along this whole area here, trying to open up the rest of this center area on the map here. Uh, and make up a little outpost slash second base on that side so once I go down to the caves and make my way to the lava caves I'll also be able to go down through the cave and up out the other side so uh, should be pretty freaking exciting uh, first things first here I do need to repair my weapon so I've got enough stuff to do that I'm also going to be making up a uh, one of the comments from the last video is asking what the uh, what I should be doing with the crystal first off and uh, I'm going to be saving it for the most part for right now I need uh, crystal for the upgrades on the solar panels but uh, I was told to do the power efficiency on the mining drill so I'm going to be going and doing that now I got everything I need to do that so it's taking 0.25 now and 0.19 after so that's going to save me a little bit of power it's pretty freaking great um, the extraction speed, uh, somebody told me that it's not worth doing that, that it's broken or not fixed yet or something, so I'm just going to leave that alone for right now. But that is saving me uh, 0.6 or 0 0.06 power, so it doesn't seem like a lot, but it all adds up after a while, you know? So, and I do have enough for the baking pan also, which I don't, I thought I did. I don't know how I have 249 mass. I had 250. I don't know what happened there, but I got another log on me, so not a big deal. Go ahead and make up this baking pan quick. Be able to make some max level food now, which is freaking fantastic. Uh, somebody else commented from the last video as well. I was asking about mushrooms. Uh, they are not used in cooking as of right now. You can just eat them straight up just like blueberries or whatever they give you uh, five protein and 15 fruits and vegetables I believe so it is what it is for right now they'll do their job and uh, I put a bed down in the cave as well and I shouldn't have done that because it goes uh, you spawn whenever you put down a BCU wherever you make that bed from whichever BCU you make that bed from you will spawn back there or spawn uh, wherever you bought your last spawn at if that makes any sense so really pointless putting that bed down there didn't really need it uh, it's just more cost effective doing the uh, doing the diving gear and just going back down there and retrieving my stuff so it is what it is it's down there now I have it if I need it I'll probably destroy it once I go back down there but uh, yeah that's about that let's go ahead and throw this uh, baking pan on here and make up some of this good food uh, Hello? Why can't I not grab that pan? What's going on? There we go. Alright, baking pan is in the oven. Let's see what I can make of this stuff here. Cook, bake, uh, roasted ribs and vegetables, roasted chicken and vegetables, fish pie. That's what I was thinking of for the. Uh, I thought I could boil fish stew or something, but it's uh, fish pie, which is pretty. Freaking great. So, uh, and you only need salmon for it. You need three salmon and a mashed potato. I was wondering what the mashed potatoes are used for, and that is obviously it. So, right now I think I'm just going to make up a rib. So, I need uh, two carrots, potatoes, onions, and one rack of ribs. I'm going to go ahead and grab this stuff up now. And these freaking rogue hunters are pissing me the hell off. They're about ready to get domed in a second here. Oh, I just ate. I just ate something. Uh, I don't know. Not too sure what I just ate. Did I eat a raw rack of ribs? I don't know how I'm not sick from that, but hope I didn't eat a rack of ribs. That would suck. But I'm pretty sure that's what I just ate. So, two carrots, two onions, two potatoes. Go ahead and bake this baby up quick. I got enough power. Yeah. You can upgrade this thing for power efficiency, but from what I remember last time playing it, it's uh, not really worth it. It doesn't really uh, bring the cost down too much. Let me know if I'm wrong about that, but it doesn't really uh, 
not really worth everything you put into it for a little bit of power. I mean, all you have to do is run the generators and you're pretty much good to go. So, um, got it pretty much enough for a 2x1 on the base setup over there. I got a decent amount of ammunition. Hopefully, it, it'll be enough. Uh, bandages, health kits, and one antidote just in case I get infected. So, I'll wait for this. Uh, oh, look, it's glowing. I'll, I'll wait for this. Uh, food to get done here. I'm going to be taking some berry water just in case I need that. Uh, I'm going to eat. Eat a couple of these as well. well actually, I should have waited because I got that thing cooking in there. So It's alright. It is what it is. I'll just take that with me. Eat it when I get low. Go down here, grab a drink of water quick. Throw some logs on the fire. Should be good to go, so. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, I could have been using the uh, rogue campfires down in the caves as well to uh, cook the bat meat, which I it didn't even cross my mind to do that. So I only ended up losing, I think, two meat on the way back, so not too big of a deal. But uh, yeah, that's about it, man. That is about it. Just getting prepped, I need to make the uh, climbing picks. I don't really remember what you need for the climbing picks. Check it out, but I'm pretty sure I have enough for at least one pair. But 12 crystal, yeah, so it's not bad. It's just the ingots, which is really uh, what I have to wait around for. So, not a big deal, not a big deal. I'll do that in between episodes, and uh, I'm not ready to go down to the lava caves yet, anyways, as I'm gonna need uh, quite a bit more ammunition once I go down there. So, I'm, I'm pretty sure they're more armored. Um, I'm not too sure, so let me know what you guys think I will need in order to venture down to the lava caves. So it would be nice to get down there before uh, this thing almost done. It'd be nice to get down to the lava caves before the lakes froze over. I know I can chop my way out, but uh, you know, I don't like I don't like my chances on that. So knowing my luck, I probably won't be able to chop my way out or something. So we'll see what happens. All right, I'm gonna try to not to let that spoil. What does that give you? 125 fruits and vegetables, 125 hunger, so it's pretty much max on everything. So, max health and stam is 125. So that'll ruin me up to max. And it gives me 1.15 on max health, so that's this, this food here is going to bring my stats up really freaking quick. So, I am burning daylight, so I'm going to try to get moving here. Uh, I'm going to leave that generator on, I guess. Try to avoid those rogue hunters. Let's get going. Maybe try to kill a few cook, uh, cougar, cougars. Maybe try to kill a few cougars on the way to uh, get a little bit more sinew or something. I think I have eight left, which is not too much. So try to steer clear of these guys so I don't get headshot on the way over there. In order to upgrade the uh, the rifle any further, I think I need six freaking rope to upgrade it. I don't know what the hell all the ropes used for, but that's what I need. So gonna need a bunch of more sinew. So we'll try to get some on the way over there today. Oh, thought that was a guy right there. But yeah, this is gonna be hugging that mountain around, cutting through the middle, trying to open up a little bit of that map there, and uh, you guys pacing back and forth. But uh, yeah, I need to hit them again sooner than later as well. It's been a while. So I'm pretty sure they're all stocked up again on all their all their goodies in their chests. And once you use the BCU cracker, uh, I think I read somewhere that it destroys their base, but once you destroy their base, it drops a chest or something. What's in that chest? Uh, what can be in that chest? So. Should I go through and loot their base first and then put the VCU cracker on? And will it drop a chest after the fact with more stuff in it? Because that'd be pretty great. Uh, yeah. I don't really mind where that fortress is at right now because uh, this is close. I don't have to run far at all freaking to raid them. So not really too big of a deal. But uh, yeah, as soon as we get across this water here, we'll get to going. Loot what we can on the way and. Uh, Make our way towards the southeast lake here. Oh yeah. 
You're gonna need a bunch more pearls as well in order to do a bunch of some of these upgrades on the uh, weapons. And yeah, we're getting closer, closer to the lava caves, man. Super excited. Super freaking excited. Just need to farm out some more iron and stuff so I can make a couple pairs of those climbing picks. Definitely gonna want two pairs in case I in case I die down there and be able to climb back down again. But uh, hopefully I don't die and that'll just be freaking great, so. One thing I wish they had on the food was a uh, like a spoilage timer telling you how long you have until the stuff goes bad because uh, I've lost quite a bit of food just by not knowing how much time is left on it or a percent uh, durability percentage or but timer would be pretty great so but I'm pretty sure I'm not the first one asking for that so hopefully get some dope loot on the way over there I was gonna make up a uh, uh, I was gonna make up a uh, lock pick before I went over there, but didn't feel like waiting around another day for more power and all that shit. So it's all right. All right, you just back off, man. Maybe I should have my shotgun out just in case. I think we're coming into cougar territory here now, so try to keep my ears open. Freaking myself out already. Yeah, I'd like to uh Main reason to build that base over here is for the for the caves for one, and for two it would be uh, there's a bunch of the trees over there that give you four logs per, so I'll be able to farm out a hell of a lot more wood uh, doing that thing. So uh, yeah, that's pretty much the main reason is for wood wood in the caves. amount of nails. I think I'm gonna hug this mountain a little closer, try to get a cougar or two on the way. Lots of freaking crates man, freaking dope. Kitty kitty kitty. Sure, it's still that pig I'm hearing. All right, this is where I died before. Let's see if we can find find one here. Three out of three times. Sorry for the lack of commentary, I'm just trying to trying to listen. No cougar here, huh? Do they always spawn in the same spots? Same areas, I guess? Or is it random where they spawn at? I know there's six spawn locations, but I'm not sure if they spawn there every time. you guys will let me know if I looked right at one and walked away. I'm at here. Alright, kind of want to hang a left. I want 
want to in the, stay near these mountains, but I want to clear out the map as well. I can always clear out the map on the way back, I guess. God damn it. I didn't bring a splint. That's one thing I forgot, is a freaking splint. I'll do my best to not get my legs broken. Let's hope I can make it over here in time for nightfall. That's a pig up there. Not really seeing any cougars. They're all hiding. I know I'm coming. Not sure if we'll make this base over here big eventually. I'll always expand it out later. Maybe make it a three by five or something like that. So whoa. I don't think there's any rogue. What is that? It's a wolf. I don't think there's any rogue hunters on this path either, so. Knock on wood. I'll get lucky on the way over there. Not run in any. Run into any. I don't want to spend too much time stopping and stopping and uh, looking. Kind of want to run and gun. Found one. All right, come on, buddy. All right, one cougar. Come on, give me like twenty-four sinew or four. That'll work. My inventory's full, so I need to watch what I'm picking up here. Getting there, I just need to head south. Maybe another cougar over this way. Go towards that stream and just head head east. I thought that was the southeast lake before, but it's definitely not. Listen, bear. Always with the frickin' attitude, man. I didn't bring an insect repellent either, just in case I find a beehive. Somebody was telling me they don't despawn until, uh... They don't despawn until you get them, but actually it doesn't even matter right now because they stop, uh... They stop appearing once, uh rutting season begins, which I'm pretty sure it's still... Oh, it's not rutting season any, anymore. I thought rutting season was longer than a month. Is it mid-September to mid-October, I guess? Is that my stream here I want to stay with? Yeah. Alright, we'll do a once-over for a cougar here and then start heading east. Hello? 
quick, that's where I found the last one last time. Anybody home? Anybody? Hmm. One cougar. That's all right. I'll take it for right now. I'll always find them on the way back. I don't think they'll be up this high. I'm thinking I'm hearing one. What the hell is that? Rock. Alright, whatever, it's alright. As long as I don't get ambushed. I think they only spawn near the mountain, right? They don't spawn further down. That rabbit kind of scared me. Oh. Oh. I'm just going to stay over here. Yeah, look at all those freaking four log trees, man. That is a drop and a half. Let's not break our legs. Good idea? Good idea. Pretty sweet base location. Kinda loud, but it could be pretty sweet. Probably am walking past chests as well, so... My apologies, I'm kind of distracted with cougar hunting. That's a deer. I see the lake. Yeah, look at all these nice trees just waiting for harvesting. Lots of friggin' bears over here though. I've never gone through winter time in this game, so I know there's timber wolves, if I remember correctly, uh, and no bears, but uh, are the timber wolves harder to kill? Uh, I know they're hard as shit to see because they're white, but are they harder to kill as well? You take more than one shotgun shell like these ones do here. Alright, made it to the frickin' lake, man. It's not too sure where to set this base up at. I don't think it's all the way out here. I think it may be... Is there another stream over here? I'm thinking there's another stream on the, this side. Yeah, the sun's going down. It's the only stream going to this lake from over there. Unless there's one coming across right here, I'm not too sure. Hmm. I don't know. Looks like the only stream to me. Unless there's one further out that way. I think the cave entrance is somewhere in between here, but... 
I'm not too sure. I'm sure you guys will let me know in the comments. I'm just gonna go ahead and set up my base right uh right here. Seems like a good spot. Should I go further over there? I'm gonna go further over towards those trees. Sun is going down quick. I can just never get over how freaking awesome this game looks, man. I think right here looks like a good spot. didn't make my my loot chest so there's that try to make quick work of this shit here all right that yeah, sounds gonna be going down mad quick here Get all this stuff set up. I was gonna make all freaking solid walls on this thing. I could always switch it out later, I guess, but I've some of them in the nice flake for you, you know? Uh, let's see here. Six. I'm gonna put the window at, put it on the front for now. some of these fumes. I know it doesn't matter, but... Got some of this delicious steak. How many planks do you need? I think you need five planks for the uh, storage chest, right? Five planks and three quarters, which I don't have on me, so... I only need three more planks. I need one frickin'... Oh, it is dark. It is dark. Oh, man. Wish it were daytime. Alright, I'm gonna wait through night. Uh, and finish this thing up uh, first thing in the morning. All right, welcome back. It is a brand new morning out here. Pretty freaking awesome. It gets foggy. I'm not sure if it's just around the lakes or not, but it gets foggy as shit at night. Or winter's coming or, or something, but it is really, really foggy at night. I couldn't see five foot in front of my face when I was trying to find stuff out here last night, so pretty much hunkered down. Hunker down, did what I could. I'm just gonna try to find one, one more, uh, one more fiber here, so I can make up a chest, and then uh, that'll probably be it. So, next episode, I'm not too sure what I'm gonna be doing. Uh, definitely want to clear out some more of this map in between episodes. See what I can get done, and uh, make up one more cordage here quick. See what I can get done. Uh, maybe make up some more stuff for this base. I'll probably do a circle around the lake to see uh, if there's any better spots to build at. But uh, I think this would be good enough for for here. Just just to be an outpost, smaller base. Definitely not as big as my other one. So uh, yeah, we'll see. We'll see what I figure out. But uh, maybe craft up some more uh, 
iron ingots and try to uh, make up a couple climbing picks, try to find a bunch of ammo, all that crap, so I can maybe go down to the lava caves before it starts freezing over. So, if you guys have any ideas of what you want to see or what I should be doing, just uh, let me know in the comments, man. Let me know in the comments. I'll definitely. Uh, For now, yeah, I'll definitely. Uh, you guys want me to do something? Want me to build? Just let me know, and I'll do my best to to do it. So that's probably gonna be it for this episode, guys. If you ended up enjoying it, hit that like button. If you're new here, you want to see more of my content, hit that subscribe button. I appreciate y'all watching. It's been real. Until next time.